Microsoft giveth, thus Microsoft must taketh away. What we're going to be doing in this video is taking a look at the Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22557. This preview build uh, that has been recently released in the dev channel uh, gives us some pretty cool features. Things like being able to group your pinned icons on your start menu into these little folders like you can on um, now literally every operating system. They've introduced the new Do Not Disturb, which is over here. So if we go over here, there'll eventually be a uh, Do Not Disturb button up here as well as a focus mode, which this is like a little timer to help you kind of stay on task. I mean, kind of cool stuff. We have other features such as live captions being added. They have some uh, general Windows Explorer or File Explorer improvements. OneDrive stuff within File Explorer, just a lot of things that you would have expected to be with this upon initial release. Uh, some new touch gestures, which is very cool. So if you put this on like a cell phone, or a touchscreen device, it, it would probably be pretty cool. But with, with all of these cool features, and I mean, I only highlighted the things on the top of this list. I'm gonna be uh, linking down below new snapping layouts. I mean, th they added quite a bit to this, but hidden deep down in here, including, ooh, I actually do really like this. They're uh, the previews for the folders in Windows 11, phenomenal. I'm gonna have to search this, there it is, okay. The, the, here, okay. Similar to Windows 11 Home Edition, Windows 11 Pro Edition now requires internet connectivity during the initial setup process. If you choose to set up a device for personal use, a Microsoft Services account will be required. You can expect Microsoft account to be required in subsequent WIP flights. What this means is it even it was hard to do. It wasn't hard to do, but they definitely didn't want you to do it. To create an offline account, either on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you, you had to go through a little couple extra steps to get around the uh, login prompt to log into Microsoft account. But as of this developer release and whenever they introduce all these features into the uh, main channel, you will have to have a Microsoft account to set up Windows. And this is not necessarily a good thing for a couple of different reasons. For Microsoft, it's really good because then they can better collect tel telemetry, tele telemetry. 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 Telemetry data about you. Telemetry data about you and how you use your computer. And there's a lot of people out there who just want a really lightweight, non-internet connected computer that now they're not gonna be able to use Windows. Eventually Windows 10 is gonna die. And if they keep this feature forever, you're not gonna be able to have that just offline Windows machine that you have for utility use, such as general word processing. Maybe you have RStudio when you run computer calculations on it. You don't need an internet connection for things like that. So that's not going to be a thing anymore. Uh, for me personally, why I don't like it is I set up Windows, uh, Windows 11 a lot in virtual machines to make videos and things like that. And I really prefer just not to link that to my Microsoft account because I'm going to be deleting it anyways. And I don't want it to like try to sync up with OneDrive and all that on a virtual machine. It's just a pain. It's really nice to have an offline account, but no more. I mean, if we scroll up here, at least they uh, made the emojis look a little bit better. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to point out, now this isn't associated directly with this release announcement, but Microsoft is also going to start adding more watermarks to the bottom corner, not only for uh, people who choose not to input a registry key, but if you're somebody who manages to skirt around the minimum system requirements, particularly the uh, TPM requirement through the registry or however you choose to do that, they are going to stick an ugly watermark in the corner saying the system requirements are not met. You can see that right there. And just based on this little screenshot, you can see that they're running this in a virtual machine. So yes, the system requirements are not met as this is proving to be more and more difficult being able to launch a Windows 11 virtual machine. This right here is the screen that I've been stuck on. So I'm trying to uh, figure that out at the moment. It says down here, this is experimental. So unlike the uh, online requirement, this might not be a for sure thing, but it's kind of minimal. It really wouldn't surprise me if this is something they end up doing. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and link to the two uh, pages that I just showed on the screen. Um, yeah, have a beautiful day. If you like this type of content, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you to YouTube members, Patreon supporters. Hope you have a beautiful day. Subscribe if you like it, dislike if you hated it, and goodbye.
Thank you.